This is Jeffrey Drazen for the New England Journal of Medicine. Giving birth to twins has always been trouble. Consider the Greek myth of Leto, whose delivery of Artemis was easy, but Apollo, the second twin, did not emerge for nine whole days and nights. In the myth, Leto's labor was prolonged because Eletheia, the goddess of childbirth, had been kidnapped. But in the modern world, is there something we can do to make twin births easier? This quick take summarizes an international trial comparing vaginal birth to planned cesarean section in women carrying twins. Women who did not have significant medical or obstetrical issues, who were carrying twins and who had reached the 32nd week but not the 39th week of gestation and whose first twin was presenting head first, were approached to enroll. The two possible treatments were planned cesarean birth or planned vaginal birth with conversion to a C-section should the need arise during labor. Over about eight years, 2,800 women in 25 countries joined the study. The treatment groups were well matched. In the C-section group, the vast majority of women had both twins by C-section. In the planned vaginal birth group, just over half had both twins by vaginal delivery, while just under 40% had both twins by C-section. Most of these procedures were instituted when, during labor, the obstetrician in charge decided that things weren't going as well as hoped. There were about seven to eight adverse events per hundred women, but the frequency of these did not differ between the groups. Similarly, there were complications in about two babies per hundred, but this did not vary by birth strategy. As expected, the second twin had about twice as many complications as the first twin, but this difference was not impacted by the method of delivery. These data suggest that if medically uncomplicated twins are in the offing and the first one's presenting head first, that a winning strategy is to wait until labor to decide if a C-section is needed.